Rock with Quinn and Cantera. It's 1-800-LAW-1010, 1-800-LAW-1010.com. Paul Harding from Martin Harding and Mazzotti on the horn. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's pretty simple, or it doesn't sound right, but it's pretty simple. There's a, like an antiquated law on the Massachusetts books that say if you commit suicide while under appeal, like Aaron Hernandez does, you're an innocent man. Is that suicide or death in general? Or death in general. Oh, okay. Death in general, right? Yeah. 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 So, you know, I don't know if it's, it necessarily declares you you're innocent man, but what it does is it, it sort of, uh, in essence, does that, I guess. It, it kind of says, listen, if you had some appeals, that you have, even though these appeals in Aaron Hernandez's case, I thought were generally uh, with little hope uh, to none. But as long as you had some appeals that had not been perfected, and you die, whether by suicide or otherwise, these underlying charges are deemed not perfected from the, and therefore, in his case, it could result in millions of dollars going to his estate. So you, well, now we're just speculating. Like, do you think he knew that? I mean, does this? Do people know this? It's called ant, uh, abatement ab initio yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Well, if you get an insurance policy here in New York State and you commit suicide within two years, it's negated, right? So they figure that no one's got really a two-year suicide plan. So that's yeah. sort of what the rule is here in New York, uh, Massachusetts. Uh, you know, I, I guess, you know, would he have known that there was – now, it's not a layup, right? So if I'm the NFL and I've got to pay him, I think it's about $5.5 million between uh, bonus and salary, you know, I, I'm not just going to just roll over and let this one go. They're, they're, they're going to fight this. They're going to um, – and, and then, of course, we, there's civil cases for the folks who uh, – even though he was acquitted of the murder charge. Right, right. Uh, they've got lawyers in civil cases. So would he have been aware of it? Probably. I mean, he had good legal well, I mean, counsel. What, this is what I would have thought to myself if I was in his position. It's the same thing that the the wise guys do when they whack somebody that's about to go up and, you know, put him in jail. They whack him, then they're done. But, you know, this way he whacks himself, the whole yeah. thing's done, yeah. and his family gets to, 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 to get the well, bonus. Certainly, you, we've had seen plenty of suicide notes where people have uh, indicated that they know that this, the money in their insurance policies is going to go to their uh, – to, to their family, so possible. Uh, I think the the uniqueness here is that uh, uh, you know he had just had that celebrated day in court where they found him not guilty right, of right. the criminal charges, and there was some chance that the other charge uh, would have, maybe could get a retrial. And who knows, you know, obviously. Uh, but so at this point, uh, I would say this is going to be a legal battle royale, uh, not only for the individuals who were filing civil suits for the wrongful death, you know, for the families of the folks who were killed, but but also this NFL thing is going to play out in a really, really open way in court. Oh, well, and then, and then the, the the legal principle that I mentioned, that abatement thing, is that yeah. something that is is permanently on the books? I mean, can can people now that they are aware of it take it off? I mean, or, or do they want it on the books? Yeah, no, I think they're going to take it off. I, I think that's going to come up in the Massachusetts state legislature okay. next year. You know, no one ever thinks about it a whole lot. Never. The ramifications usually are not this extreme right. the the rule you know with insurance is still going to stay the same after two years but but in terms of uh you know paying out nfl contracts that's why it made the news right so yeah. usually if someone you know dies and before their appeals it's it it, it it could help with some benefits but most most of the time it doesn't yeah i, I think that's going to come to a head and we don't we do not have that same rule here in new york right, real, real quick paul are you watching the alex west stuff play out uh at all at, we are do you have any yeah. uh do you have any uh like a like a 20 second take on it i mean this guy's the guy's going to prison right i mean that's what i'm that's the layman in me uh versus the yeah. lawyer in me which doesn't exist <laughs> says that this guy's yeah. going to prison no matter what yeah i i believe so too mm-hmm. um that there wasn't a plea offer and, and they just didn't offer him one. I think he would have taken it. I think um, the evidence is coming in very strong and very much in support of uh, a verdict against him. Uh, yeah. So I think we're going to see that in the next few weeks. It's 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 almost too tough to read yeah. about. Yeah, it's really it's, tough. It's really, sure. the showing pictures just, yesterday. And tough, was, so. uh, I can't imagine being in that courtroom. All well, right. We appreciate the time. Yep. Paul Harding from Martin Harding and Mazzotti, 100Law1010 and 100Law1010.com. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, guys. Quinn and Cantera. Mornings on Picks 106.